All right, yo, what is up guys? You've got lightning here back at you guys with another video Now I wanted to showcase this game off because <clears throat> This is just one of the hardest carries. I think I've ever probably done Oh in, in the recent future anyway, just it's just one of those games that stood out I didn't even record it. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm versing ranked in uh, So I'm gonna want to focus. I won't make it a video. You know, it's ranked. It's on my uh, secondary account it's, um, it's gold but it's it's like play mid play mmr at the moment so that's okay anyway, this guy's invade uh i knew they wouldn't be able to kill me because they don't have any cc or enough damage to uh, uh kill me at that point so anyway they gave away some information for free and then um i tell xerath you know they're gonna they're in the jungle so he's standing in the bush there as you, as you can see and he's actually I actually go <laughs> it's quite funny the stupid bloody crocodiles like walking around like oh shit <laughs> he's poking me but um <clears throat> so eventually he actually just ended up TPing back to lane uh, to get to the minions in time, which is quite funny. But anyway, so the runes were going uh, precision with uh, press the attack and then the, the resolve tree with um, iron skin and second wind. <clears throat> uh, when I'm versing sort of harder earlier matchups, I prefer these uh, these runes um, just to get you through those first couple of levels. But anyway, um, straight into the level one, uh, he walks up to me, so I just E auto. Your E, -O -E, -O -E, -O -E, -E auto. We'll always out trade him uh, at level one, so just, you got no problem doing that, even if you take a Q, so uh, that's fine. Now, just let the, the wave push into me. I'm happy with this because I want the wave to. Um, <coughs> I want the minions to push into me to get the CS. I'm not too worried if I miss a couple of emits. Rennington, the first couple of levels are generally pretty hard. So. Um, well, let's take note of what they have. They've got the Rennington, the Kazakhs in the jungle, Yasuo, Twitch, and Nami. So. Uh, as you can see straight away, you know, the, the full sort of AD auto attack, you know, damage. Well, not all auto attack, but, you know, AD, AD damage. So, I know, I know that, you know, if the game goes later on, you know, I, we can definitely win. I can build tanky if I have to and, you know, get a lot of armor and I'll be alive for a long time in the team fights. So, um, I just need to not feed the Rennington, basically. That's my job. And then, um, we see, we can see Kha'Zix playing really fucking aggressive, so... Um, invading the Gragas, so, you know, good on Kha'Zix being a, being a man, but, um, he died, he goes down, so that's really, really good for me. Uh, I got no problems with that at all. Holy shit, that thunder. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but holy shit. Uh, anyway, uh, bit of a fight there, so we, we do a big trade. <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, it was really weird, like, he... He flashed on me. I thought he was going to flash. Uh, I wasn't sure if his W was up, so I flashed. But then, um, so we both flashed and then, you know, I get the Q reset off the minions and then straight into him with my W and then that kills him. I'm not sure what cooldowns he had at the time, but, um, I flashed just to, just in case. Oh my god, fuck off. I'm getting a phone call. So anyway, I get the first kill on him. I was like, alright, this game is mine for the taking. Um, you know, it's not every day you get the first kill on a Renekton at level 4. But if you do, you know that the lane's absolutely over. We can see Kha'Zix is there yet again, trying to invade that uh, Gragas. So, but I just want to push this in because I want to have a really good base and push it in to reset the wave. Uh, see, see what the other team's doing. See the see the gold, I'm already 400 gold ahead. Gragas is trying to safely farm in his jungle. Kha'Zix is... So he's in the river right now, we don't know that yet though. So... I've pushed it an eye back. And I can speed it up. Now that I'm using a replay system, it's a lot easier. I'll wait for myself to get back to the lane. Oh, fuck yeah. There we go. Back to normal speed. And these, I feel sorry for this Yasuo. He got, he got camped pretty hard. So, that's good for us. I mean, so we've come up with a good lead, right? You might be thinking, oh, it's just another stomp game, but, you know. Anyway, the Renekton, let me pause, because he went on to me with his, um, if you're a Renekton player, like, don't, don't do what this guy does. So he, Q's right there, right? So that's a cooldown. Slices, W's, dices, no more cooldowns, he's got absolutely nothing. Even his Q's still got six seconds, he's got nothing. So you got to make sure, if you're, if you're Renekton, you don't just, you don't do that. He basically, like, gave me the kill. Because he used all his cooldowns 
and the, well, you know, he uses Q, which is his main his main damage source, and then, you know, he sliced and diced and then stunned me, and then he had nothing at all. He didn't even use his dice to get out. For some reason, he thought he could out damage me. I don't know if he made a mistake or, or what, but um, a second, and then, and then I was able to just pick up basically a free kill, because if Rennick has no cooldowns, then you know he's he's buggered. So I get to push this lane in yet again, um, and put him further behind. So, you know, up 15 CS. So gold looking like, so 1k gold already, 1k gold ahead of Rennington. So that gives me yet another free back. I can just speed this up again. So we actually, we actually got off with quite a good start. I uh, wasted my ult. I mean, I was gonna back here, but I, I was getting greedy for for items for my like, Triforce. And I should have backed all, like, you know, earlier. I should back now. No, I don't. Why am I not backing? This is just greedy. So, Rennick and TPs. He's still level 5 to my level 7. Now he hits level 6. I'm just going to fast forward here because I know I should be backing. I think I'm just trying to push out the wave. But I think I'm getting greedy for the, um, to get a specific item out of the Triforce or, or well, Sheen or... So, I'm moving my mic. What am I trying to get? Uh, see, I've got 1.5k gold. So, I, you know, I'm trying to get like a yeah, sheen and boots or, or something like that, right? So, but I think what I should be doing. Okay, I popped this ult. That's really good. I think what I really should be doing is uh, trying to back and um, put more pressure on this guy. Even though I'm still able to put pressure on him, if I had full mana and an extra item, I, I could be dumpstering this guy right now. So, I think that's the key. That's what I really should be doing is, is backing earlier. Um, this is just getting greedy because I, I knew Kha'Zix was black like, bot side a lot, so I wasn't too worried. Okay, now I think I um, actually push it out in their back. Oh, just go back. Mike, bloody hell. Okay, there we go. So what do I end up buying? So we get Phage and, and oh, sorry, get the Tarbi and the uh, Dagger. I'll just uh, slow that down a little bit. So we can see Kha'Zix. He's putting a lot of pressure on my team. Um, I mean, he's died a couple of times already, but you know, he's he's got those mobies, he's got his item, he's ready to pop off. Um, Yasuo is feeding. You know, bot lane is doing quite well. They're winning, so we're losing bot, winning mid, winning top, but losing jungle. So even though, we're, yeah, so I guess as long as we're strong, um, well, Dragus is doing too badly, but he's getting out farmed. I jump down there and steal the kill. So as long as I can get my lead ahead, uh, I know I can individually, you know, snowball, snowball quite hard. Um, that's my goal. I don't care about stealing kills and that sort of shit, so. But anyway, so I go back to top lane. I want to keep pushing this in. Eventually, I want to get the tower. Um, and when I, when I start getting some item spikes, that's when I want to start roaming and, um, you know, taking over the map. Um, so yeah, Yasuo's... <laughs> this is why you ban Yasuo, guys. <laughs> You see Kazak sort of popping off a bit, he's getting a few kills. Do I have... I, oh yeah, that's my fog of war. Okay. That's fine. Does that work again? No, it doesn't work. So I'll fast forward this. Back to top lane. Again, look at Rennington. So he's he's going for the Hydra. I don't know why he went for a Hydra. He should have he should have honestly gone for Sunfire Cape. If you're behind with Rankton, you can always go Sunfire Cape and have be, be tanky. Oh, I think this is where the game sort of turns. Kha'Zix... Kha'Zix gets a triple kill down there. That's really, really bad. So he's 7-2, and two, you know. He's going crazy. He's going ham. So I'm left to try and battle with the Rennington on top. <coughs> Excuse me. So I really need to get that top tower... To sort of open my, my lane up so I can and then start roaming like crazy. Because I ideally as a top laner, you know, you wanna get your tower so you can roam other lanes without you know, to, to make the gap in the lanes um, a bit longer, right? So the minions can't only come to here, you know, they can go all the way down here, then he's gotta push it all the way back up. That's the idea, so then it takes them um, when you push it out, it takes them longer to uh, get it to your tower so you can do bigger rooms. He got greedy there. You know, I'm two levels ahead of him now, three levels. I'm really just absolutely dumpstering this guy. He's the only reason he's getting CS is like because I keep pushing it to his tower. But now, since it's got no TP, um, you know, I get to get the tower. 
The one thing I didn't want, um, you know, Zerath's ping in this. Well, I did not want this guy to get first blood tower. No way. Um, that means Kha'Zix, you know, and, and Twitch will be even further ahead. And, and then it also brings Renekton and uh, slightly back into the game because it gives him another opportunity to, to finish his item and then move on to like a um, an, his second item, you know. Um, and I don't want that. So I decided to TP just to defend that tower because no one else was around that would like bot. Um, and he could have actually gotten that tower. So that's one thing I didn't really want. Um, but I'd already pushed the lane out anyway. I could have probably got this tower, but I didn't want to risk Twitch getting the, the mid tower before me. So I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to trade towers either really because my tower is not going down anytime soon. He's This guy can't push to my tower. He's still sitting on that, those items, so I'm trying to get the Hydra. Really bad item build by him. Did you see that glitch in the map? Or was that just me? Oh well. So just farming. Okay, I'll speed this up a little bit. That's the boring stuff. So going back. That's the Triforce. Um, so Triforce and Tarbi at, um, you know, pre-15 minutes is quite good. Um, now I should be, you know, roaming and, and trying to use my power spike a bit more. Because this is your power spike as Aurelia, right? So this is the time to shine. Only problem is we can see, I mean, bot lane got a double kill. Um, Zeros, you know, Zeros doing alright. Well, my whole team's doing alright, but, you know, Yasuo is doing terrible, but Kha'Zix is really, really strong. Holy shit. Nice synergy, guys. Nice synergy. Now, focus on yourself. Focus on yourself, Mike. I always gotta tell myself, I only worry about your own game, right? So, this is a rough spot. I hate it when the lane is like this because it means you can't push. Well, excuse me. It means you can't push it in. Yeah, he shouldn't have sliced and diced there. But I just have too much damage for this guy now, right? So, it's like the, the Aurelia dream, you know, when you win lane against a Renekton, um, you know, the life for a Renekton is, is basically over. So, I'm trying to push the tower back in. I have no TP. And then I think this is where the game really turns around. Like, even though Yasuo dies, he's worth like you know, 20 gold, he's a minion. You know, Twitch gets a couple of kills, Kha'Zix gets another couple of kills. And I'm like, oh shit. But I think this is the point in the game where I was like, right, I need to carry. I need to carry this game. And I just... Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> I think I did quite well. Like, uh, I just remember in the game being really, really focused. And that's why I didn't want to do like a video on it or anything. Um, I thought it was going to be a really uh, hard game with the Renekton, but um, since I won lane, uh, you know, I really regret not recording. It would have been a pretty good video if I did it live. Go for another back here. I think I'll be on my way for the Titanic Hydra. <clears throat> uh, look at the gold. So, 3k gold ahead of Renekton right now. That is absolutely crazy. That's a, that's almost a Triforce ahead of him. I've almost got, I've almost got his items. Plus a Triforce. That's absolutely insane, right? So anyway, back out into the map. Uh, fast forward. Bit of a team fight going on here, so my team gets absolutely dominated. Absolutely fucking wrecked. Um, two of them die, so my jungler on my mid laner gets just absolutely fucked. Even, even Yasuo picks up the kill, right? <laughs> absolutely shit. So I'm, I just have to get the CS as it comes. But then I don't want to lose the top lane tower. So I gotta, I gotta go defend that from from Renekton. We'll fast forward that because if Renekton starts getting gold, then he can he can just be a real good meat shield for his team. Because Renekton, yeah, Renekton's quite a good tank, especially when he's got his ult up. He does, um, you know, quite a bit of um, you know sustained magic damage with his ult, and then uh, you know he, he's just he's so what the fuck is that? That's a glitch. What is that glitch? That's alright. Anyway. So we come to the mid lane, push this out, we've got the tower now, so now we can start roaming and, and trying to make a difference in the game. Got the Yasuo here, he managed to use the old on Zera. We get the stun on him and boom, he's dead. We'll fast forward some more, I don't want to, I'm trying to like not bore you guys with boring bits. So we, sp we spot out Kha'Zix here in the, in the river. I think it's really important that we get this, this kill right here. He's, he absolutely fucking juked us man, I don't know if you guys saw that but... He went invisible to, um, to get to the Xerath and then um, managed to get the Xerath and then go invisible again and then and then jump out, which was really good play by him. So he's obviously um, 
quite a decent Kha'Zix player, or, you know, likes the champion enough to play him, um, you know, a bit better than the average, than the average Kha'Zix player, but anyway, so, we saw them in the, in the river there, so we just go straight, straight for mid tower, Yasuo walks up, uh, I don't know if he was lagging, but I'm like, okay, sweet, free kill. So then that enables us to just keep pushing to the, the second tier mid tower. Although they try and kill the minions, so we have no choice but to just chase these guys back. I think jumping on Nami is just the easiest thing. She uses her heal and her flash and stuff, so that's a free kill, you know. She's got no mana, what's she going to do? Um, I would like to think that Kha'Zix can't kill Gragas because, you know, he generally builds tanky. What's he got, actually? Yeah, he's got some armor. He's got the Cinder Hulk. He shouldn't die to a Kha'Zix, especially with Braum around. Okay, it's backing time. What's on the menu for Aurelia? Okay, so we've got the Titanic. I think now we're going for Sterox or something like that. Um, just because they do have squishy members, right? Like, Kha'Zix isn't exactly... Um, oh, sorry. Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix isn't exactly, um, you know, like, tanky. Um, you know, Renekton isn't going to be the person I'm going for. I'm going to be going for Kha'Zix, Yasuo, Twitch, and, and, and Nami, right? So... In this case, I thought Sterix was a good addition to my my Titanic Hydra, and I do go for that um, straight after Titanic, I think. Although I think, um, you know, getting some resists in between the t Titanic and Sterix build would be ideal, but since I'm that far ahead, I don't think it's necessary. Not in this case, anyway. So I'm pinging these guys, I just want to take over the map. I want to take all, everything they have. Kha'Zix thinks he can fight me because he's got big balls, and then he just gets absolutely fucking demolished because I... Did I max E? I think I mixed um, E and Q at the similar times, so I didn't. So I was like, put like three points in E and then and then mix Q. I think that's what I did this game. And Twitch has big balls now. Holy shit! You, can you guys hear that th thunder? Fucking hell! So see how far ahead I am. That's the glory of being a rally. When you're this far ahead, no one can touch you. I just use my expert skills. Where's the Penta, man? Oh, that's aced. Okay, that sucks. So, nice little quadra for me there. I mean, yeah, you're you're really far ahead and stuff like that, but, you know... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, you look at the gold. I mean, between me and Renekton, it's just... It's just... 13, 14k to 7k. I'm 7k ahead of him. That's just ridiculous, you know? Absolutely crazy. Even Kha'Zix. I thought Kha'Zix was really, really strong, but... He's on, he's on 10k gold, where I'm on 14k gold, right, so, and I was, I was, holy shit, can you guys hear that? Holy shit, there's no way that you guys can't hear that, I swear to god, that's right above my house. Fucking hell. Anyway, might try and hurry this video along then, just in case. Kazuk goes for a suicide there, good on you guys. Okay, so Yasuo goes in as well. So we didn't end up have to, having to back. But I ping my TPs really. I'm going to back. And I'm going to come back like, you know. I got my Sterox and I, I ended up buying the first part of a box. So I bought the Cutlass. TPing straight back in there. Holding those, holding those towers. And then we just want to push all this in. Keep the pressure up on them. And then we'll eventually win the game. So 16-0 right now. That's quite good. Um... Yeah, I was quite happy about the perfect game. I didn't want to fuck that up, so I thought, oh, I better get back a bit. <laughs> I didn't want to um, ruin it, but, um... See Kazuka going in. Yasuo gets his ult off, so I'm thinking shit. So I just go straight for the um, Twitch. And then the Nami. I was really keen for a Penta here. I uh, didn't quite get it. Kazuka had flash. But I managed to... I, if they fought me, I reckon I could have killed all of them. Xeroth is coming. I'm just keeping the minions pushed in. I don't have to do anything right here. All I have to do is uh, just keep killing minions, basically. So then my minions just push straight in. But I think what we end up doing is going for the Mountain Drake. Yeah, because I think going for Mountain is, is, is quite safe. You know, I hate it how you can't get over that wall with the Rally queue. I've tried it so many times, and like every time I do it, I think, yeah, easy, but then you can't reach it. It's so annoying. But anyway, moving on, we get the Dragon. Now I'm so fucking strong. That's uh, so what we got. Don't have a. I don't have a block. We go for Baron, I think. 
Go for Baron. We should go for Baron. Yep, we get Baron. Okay, don't get a pork now. Yeah, do get the pork now. So I got the pork. Now it's all about just pushing up. We can all just go all top and then and then push at him and, and go for the win. But see this game, I, like, I, I was like, okay, it's up to me or Kha'Zix to, to carry this game. And when I saw Kha'Zix popping off like that, and Twitch Twitch did have, he was like 4-0 at one point. Um, that's when I was like, alright, time to, I've got to actually carry this game. And then uh, managed to sort of pop off and off and, and get the good roams going with the... Um, you know, especially roaming into that mid lane, just to, because Kha'Zix was sort of centralizing himself around the mid lane, so I managed to just pop off, um, you know, shut down Kha'Zix enough times to uh, get ahead in the gold. So he's on, you know, almost 12k gold, and I've got, you know, almost 17, 17k gold, so it's like, I, th I think in the end, um, just because he had a lot of kills doesn't mean he had a shitload of gold, but um, since he was buying Lethality, his build isn't very expensive anyway, so at the time I was thinking, right, he can just absolutely destroy all of my laners, um, and I thought, you know, he could he could kill enough people to, to win the game. But luckily I managed to pop off enough to uh, to shut him down. And he, at, the end, at the end of the game he said he was a smurf and he's he's like he hates the Zelo and all that sort of jazz. So that was quite funny. In the game right there. So anyway, I just wanted to show that game because it's just one of those games where, you know, 20, 20 and 0 and 3 assists. Um, it doesn't happen every day. Um, so I was just, I don't know, I was just kind of proud that, you know, um, shed on the ranks and then and then came back and carried the whole game uh, from the Kha'Zix, which was quite funny. So um, anyway, guys, that was just a quick one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave, a, leave a comment and a like. That means a lot. And subscribe if you want more videos. And I'll definitely see the rest of you in the next video. Yeah! yeah.